What's going on guys? It's James Kayan for NEH, founder and CEO of Ham Radio Prep, and most recently, the World Radio League, which is our latest blog book and community project. And today I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about the origins of Ham Radio Prep and what differentiates our teaching method and why I think it's working so well for many students. And in order to tell this story, I need to go a little bit back in the history of Ham Radio Prep actually, all the way back to 2016 when I was two years out of engineering school at Vanderbilt University and I decided that I wanted to get my ham radio license like many people. So I started going around and I heard two things, which are probably the same things you're hearing today. Number one, they would say, here, just read this textbook. And I would love to learn all of these things, but I also just wanna get my license so I can start operating and get hands-on because really the truth of the matter is you need to get hands-on in order to really learn something. That's, that's one of the primary ways that your brain processes information that you become very familiar with it. So the textbook was sort of out for me. I looked at uh, a lot of websites that offered study materials back at the time in 2016, and the websites were not very user-friendly for me. And that's when the gears started to turn and I realized if I'm an engineering student and I'm having trouble studying for my ham radio license, I bet there's a lot of people out there who have the same sort of need that I do. And so I was kind of designing it for myself at that point. I wanted to create something that was a modern experience and that was sort of the genesis of Ham Radio Prep. The other thing that I've heard from a lot of people is just take this free quiz app, right? Take this quiz app, go through the questions. Is number one, we wanna teach the underlying concepts. So if you sign up for Ham Radio Prep, you're gonna learn Ohm's Law. You're gonna learn the power law. You're gonna see real Ham Radio operating examples inside of the course. But the other thing is that we don't wanna make the content so long and so difficult to get through that people don't actually pass the exam because we know that getting on the air, getting your ham radio license, achieving that goal, and then actually operating is where most of the learning really takes place. It's not reading a textbook, so it's extremely, extremely effective. The other thing that we've done, well, when we looked at the data, we saw that people were dropping off after just a few minutes of the video. And we said, well, why is that? So we went and talked to a lot of our students and we said, why are you dropping off after this point in the video? And what we found is the videos were just too long. So then what we did was we decided to break it up into shorter lessons. So that's what's gonna help you really remember all of that material rather than watching a 30 minute and then you have to jump to some other platform to try to take a quiz. It's just all in a single platform. You watch the video, you read the lesson, you take the quiz, and you keep going. Something that we look at really closely are the student retention rates. So we measure every single lesson, how people are moving through, and then we figure out where are people getting stuck, and then we use that data to improve the course, and we even see where are certain questions getting students stuck, and then we go back and improve the content related to those questions. I mean, I could count on one hand the number of people who have come back and had to get a refund from our course. Compared to other similar programs for like drone licenses or what, what have you, it's really an extremely affordable price. Charging for our courses is what enables us to take that money and reinvest and keep building new things. So you'll notice at Ham Radio Prep, we do release features very regularly. I mean, just released a new logbook application. That's gonna be growing very fast through the World Radio League. We're constantly releasing app updates and new content, new videos, and we're gonna be releasing a lot of new free videos, instructional videos as well. I think what we're seeing in the market is that people are really starved to learn more about ham radio, myself included. I mean, when I, uh, many of us on our team are sort of young hams, right? So we came from a new generation. We like to see things with really beautiful UIs. We like things to be live. We, uh, we like things to be digital. We want to learn quickly and we want to get hands on. If you're skeptical about ham radio prep or you just don't really know what we do, whether you're trying to get your technician, your general, or your amateur extra, I would go, download our mobile app and just try the first three free lessons and see the difference. I hope this update adds a lot of uh, context to what we're doing here and stay on the lookout for more updates from us soon. This is James KN4NEH saying 73 and I hope to hear you on the air soon.